one in all home brewing is to have a beer. Preferably, it's a beer that you've already home brewed. Uh, so, I'm going to be having this former home brew, and it's a coffee stout. Mmm. So today we're making what I like to call baby beer, uh, because we're making it for our baby that's still in the womb. Do, 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 do. Um, we're making a barley wine, which is probably the beer that will last the longest in the bottle. Um, it's going to be a high alcohol, high grain beer, and we're going to, once we put it in the bottle, wax seal it to help keep it sealed and last even longer. And so the idea is that one day this can be um, our kid's first beer that we made while they were still in the womb. Um, and so it's also going to be, we're not going to wax seal all of them, it's also going to be the celebratory beer after birth too, so it's going to be multi-purpose. The second step is to take your grains, uh, so here I have a mix of Paleo malt, Crystal 60 malt, and Special B malt, already blended, and I'm going to put it in pantyhose. You could also use something like cheesecloth, and it's going to go in this water that we have here. I'm just going to soak for about 45 minutes. So now that it's all in there, you can just tie it off, and it goes into the boil pot, and you attempt to get it to about 155 degrees and not boiling. So what's in there? This is the grain that's steeping, so it's kind of like making tea at this point. It smells so good. What does it smell like? Cookies and deliciousness. Mm. Wow. Is it beer yet? What do you want to do? Can you make like bread out of it or something? Out of the grains? It smells really good. You can definitely make cookies. Are they good? There is a lot of waiting when you're brewing beer, which is one of the big reasons that you should drink beer. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? I was suddenly, I needed to make muffins. <laughs> I just thought there was just too much room in the kitchen, so I thought I would make muffins. Okay. But I'm going to use the stuff in there. The what stuff? The spent grain. Oh, spent grain muffins? Mm-hmm. Cool. Now it's gross. <laughs> okay, it's been soaking. We're steeping for 45 minutes. So we're going to take it out and pour some water over it to get the goodies out of it. Mm. Yeah. And then we let it drip dry. And then we're going to turn it over to Leo for uh, some spent grain recipes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think it might be hot. <laughs> it was over 155 degrees. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, that's so incredible. Um, it's supposed to be dry, so we'll just pretend. Mm. I think I should put more in. Looks dry to me. <laughs> it's supposed to be healthy. Yeah. Like beer. So apparently we're doing a cooking show now. <laughs> We've done beer. It's like the opposite of my drunk fiction because we're making things to make us make alcohol, not. Our goal is to take this middle shelf where we currently have all this wine and beer and have that be uh, storage for kids' toys. So my task is to drink all of the alcohol in the house because Leah can't have any. And it's wearing me out. <laughs> it's tough work to drink this much. Drink it or just to move it? What's that? Yeah, I, I didn't mean get rid of it as in like, you know, consume it, I mean, just, you know, move it somewhere else. Yeah, we don't have any other spots except right here. <laughs> uh huh. All the other spots are full. All of them? Yes. Oh. Here's the first batch of Sprint Grain recipes, and that's how much is left. <laughs> I think we can eat for weeks. Hey, Leah. Yeah. Did you know that one cup of organic dark brown sugar equals one cup of refined dark brown sugar? I, now I know. Did you do the equivalency right for this recipe? Yeah, I calculated it. You got one cup to one cup? Mm -hmm. Good job. Making a mess. What? <laughs> Getting ready to dry. Oh, it's 
grains so you can store it. And then you're going to make more yummies? More yummies. Okay, now that it's back to boiling, we're going to add some uh, malt extract. And this is the part that makes it extract brewing instead of all grain brewing. But we have eight pounds of malt extract. <laughs> and this shit tastes delicious. It's like candy. God, it's so good. Well, that's it. The candy that's made out of this. Is it? <laughs> malt balls. That's what those are made out of! <laughs> yeah, it's so good! I love malt balls. <laughs> and malts. That all makes sense. <laughs> We can have this realization together. That's why I like beer. <laughs> it's all goopy on there. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Alright, we have added seven of the eight pounds. We're on our last one. As you can see, we're really full. And how long did that stay in there? Seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have time for that. So what time are we going to take those out? Three in the morning. So you're going to do that? <laughs> nope. Are you going to eat one? I'm supposed to wait five minutes. I want to just see you take it out and shove it in your mouth. The whole thing. It's 400 degrees. Is that a lot? Yeah. Okay, we have reached the boiling point, and so now it's time to add hot. The hops you add in the beginning are for taste, so the ones you add now you'll taste in the beer. We're going to add some more at the end, and those are the ones that you'll smell on the beer. Mmm, look at that hoppy slush on top. Nom 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 nom. Also, because barley wine doesn't have enough alcohol content as it is, we're going to add a 1% alcohol boost. Woo! What are you doing? Trying to measure the original gravity. You have to put the hydrometer in and read where the level is. So you see it's at 1.0, and so then you go down 1. Point what? 1.1, 1.2, 1. 1.3. 1. So we want to see. So what's it at? 1.07. So what happened in the last hour? It boiled and boiled and boiled. And toiled and toiled and toiled. Yeah, and then we put it in here after giving it an ice bath. Mm -hmm. And then we added water to fill it up to about five gallons. And it's still cooling off a little. And then we're gonna add yeast. Now it's technically something different. Now it's gonna become beer. This Ooh. is what's gonna make alcohol. Ah. It's it? gonna eat up all the sugar and poop out alcohol. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Thanks, yeast. Good night, beer.